If you are a Christian, it's very important that you watch the entirety of this video because we're about to hear is shocking to say the least. What this ex-witch revealed about what happens in the spiritual realm when Christians pray together is shocking. At the age of eight, Renee Schaefer was initiated into a satanic cult. By the time she was 13, she was even doing blood rituals. However, in this testimony, there was something very interesting to me that she shared. She was part of a coven that had a specific assignment to attack Christians. And when she was trying to fulfill her mission, she was pushed back by the power of God when Christians came together in unity. What she witnessed in the spirit was absolutely shocking. You were actually involved in this in this cult mm -hmm. in attacking Christians, weren't you? Yes. We so I was a channeler. Um, I talked to the demons, and we re they relayed messages to the rest of the cult through me. And their goal was really just to cause chaos. Um, but later on, um, I was sixteen when. Uh, I'm just going to say it, uh, I met Satan himself, mm -hmm. uh, which really obviously is shocking. Um, <laughs> and his priority for us, it changed the trajectory of the cult, and we started attacking just Christians, going after clergy specifically. Um, we had names, addresses. Now, I'd be skeptical about this if I had not heard more testimonies like hers. But listen to this important part where she talks about Christians praying together and how this actually hindered the attack of Satan. So and That's going on now, isn't it? I mean, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are assignments on uh, people yes. who are actively engaged in... Uh, and worshiping and ministering. You realized uh, as this was going on that there were certain Christians or certain people mm -hmm. that would not be at the effect of of these uh, these prayer or these chants or these uh, right. you know, these practices. Yep. So uh, I would actually travel in the spirit, astral projection, to um, influence. I don't know lust or something on a christian and uh in the spirit i would see like a dome like a blue dome over uh groups of christians that were praying or just through the all those experiences i connected that we could not attack christians as they were actively praying protection from god like it was a no-go zone, just no, absolutely no power. So that's, I love it now. Like, like yes, <laughs> thank you, God. Um, but back then, it, it made me very angry. It made the demons very angry. At that point, that made me curious. How is this possible? How can Christians have this power to just nullify the demonic? These weak little Bible carrying wussy Christians, yet having the power to dismantle the works of Satan. She's not the only one. This is happening right now as you watch this video. And yet she could not touch them when they were praying and seeking the protection of God. This next clip you're about to see has provoked me to pray for my children every single night. Check this out. Parents, you have to pray for your children because the, the battle is real. Yeah, you have to teach your children to pray even before sleeping because uh, I would go to some homes and I cannot access the child because there is a wall of fire around that child. Or I go to wake the child up because I have to touch the child and wake the child up subconsciously and then I follow me, you know, and I find this child is sleeping in a pool of blood that I cannot access. You know, you have to cover your children in the blood of Jesus. I cannot access this child is in a certain blood. And I would go and report to the gene. I say, I found that child in blood that I cannot touch. If I touch that blood, that blood is so strong. I cannot even go near it. Is, it, it, it was irritating me. It was choking me. I would find these children protected. There are some children I would find angels are watching over them. Come on, it was choking the witch. Now, I don't want to choke a witch, but if they're trying to attack my children, I pray the blood of Jesus makes them uncomfortable. I pray that this wall of fire comes around my family as demons try to attack 
attack us. But notice how she said some children, some had angels, some were in the blood, not all the children. This should be a wake up call to all of us. Second Corinthians chapter 10 says this, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. You may not realize the power you have through Christ, but the demons sure do. And you got to be ready. Watch this. He is afraid. There are some people I would not mess with. They have a, a wall of protection. You see fire surrounding them. You see angels guarding them. You cannot even access them. But there are some people that cl claim to be Christians, but they are very easy to access. No word, no prayer. No, no prayer, nothing. They are just empty. They, they, it's, yeah, they claim they love Jesus. They are born again, but they are not, they are not dedicated. They, they don't read the Bible. They don't pray. They are just blind. They live like any other person. Yeah, so it's very easy for the enemy to, to manipulate them in different areas of life. She said, there are some people I wouldn't mess with. Guys, let me tell you something. Are you one of those people that the witches don't want to mess with? That the demons don't want to mess with? Or are you an easy target? Because you've let down your sword, you've let down your armor, and you've allowed your eyes to wander off. Can you imagine all these Christians out there letting their eyes wander into lust? Can you imagine all these Christians out there having extramarital affairs? Can you imagine these Christians out there that aren't praying and seeking the face of the Lord every day? They are sitting ducks for darkness to overtake them. First Peter 5, 8, be alert and of sober mind, your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Don't get it twisted, y'all. The enemy is not asleep, but much of the professing church is. And these videos need to wake us up as a people that we can't go a single night and not pray for our children. We can't go a single day without reading our Bible and seeking the face of God. Because sometimes it's just too late to start seeking God.